right, Candy Power here, and uh, today uh, we're, we're doing more of this game. My uh, entry point, yeah. Uh, anyways, so you're probably wondering what this is, what's here, what is this? Well, uh, so this is the the screen. Uh, here is the skill points, where you get skill points for completing mission, and we have five of them. So where are we going to spend them? Uh, well, I don't know yet, but I, I'm thinking we want to go for this, and then we can get extra damage with the SMGs, because that's a good idea. And uh, now we're doing a mission. Uh, what mission are we going to be doing? Uh, let me think. All right, we're going to be doing this one. So uh, we're going to be doing operative because operative is supposed to be difficult keyword supposed to be uh it, it's it's not that difficult all right so we can put that in the bag unless it goes loud then we're gonna need to go get that bag uh we can bring down the ladder and then here's the, the epic plan. So we're going to run up there and then jump out, right? All right, so they caught us trespassing, but it doesn't actually matter that much because we have three strikes for that and now we have those windows open. So, all right, there's nothing in there. So uh, I guess we're gonna have to get a disguise some other way. Uh, the best of this being over here is if we disable this camera, then that should lure a guard because we disabled it. And then the guard should come over here and then we can grab the guard while nobody's walking by. And if we drop this here, it should lure him uh, this way. And then we can get him behind the bush so nobody walking by can see. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be lured. Right, you get down. And now we carry him into a bag. Boom, now we have a disguise, so we can go trespassing. Meanwhile, we also want to drop the gun we just picked up, which is this one. So we still have our cool one, just the guards don't have their ones. And uh, now, we can actually go up here without being trespassing. We just gotta find a key card now to open up doors. So we gotta go find it, and there should just be one laying around. So Aha, here it is. That's why you don't leave key cards laying around on the floor, guys. Otherwise, uh, thieves will come and hack it and then use it to take down your entire bank. Alright, so we're in the server room now. If we hack this, uh, it should tell us which box we need to open to disable the gun sensors. Alright. Oh, wait, we have to get an employee. Uh-oh. So we gotta interrogate an employee. Uh, which employee? Oh, it's this one. Alright. So we need to ambush them while they're, like, going down the stairs or something. Huh? 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 All right, looks like he's going this way. It, yes, he's going down the stairs. Oh, nope, he's not going down the stairs. Uh, all right, he's right there. This is so difficult. We need to get him, and then he'll somehow help us disable the gun sensors. I don't exactly know. And now we wait. I'll cut when he starts moving again. All right, he's moving. And he's moving back to here. Uh 
Uh oh. This is not good. Uh, we yoink him. And then we get this dropped here. Okay, phew, we actually managed to pull that off. I thought we were going to get detected for sure there. Alright, so we need to find the blue power box, which I believe we already walked by. Uh, was it on the stairs or somewhere? Uh, nope, not on the stairs. Uh, was it down here? Uh, nope, not down there. That's the green one. So the blue one should probably be somewhere around here-ish. Uh, we just went in a full circle and we didn't find it. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Right in front of a giant horde. Alright, we gotta... We gotta rewire the box as fast as possible. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Alright, we got it. Now we gotta go get a disguise from the van. Of which we'll use jumping out of this window to go get it for us. And then this should disguise us as a client. And then we can go back and talk to a, the manager who will open the vault for us. Alright, now we wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Aha! We, we can walk through here without the manager. Alright, so then we got to Hey guards, you wouldn't mind if I just knocked you guys out, would you? Yeah, just your friendly neighborhood knock out her. Right, yep, manager, get in here. Then we move the manager. And knock out the manager. Then we pick up this card. Then we hide the bodies. Alright, so I think opening the vault will lure an employee here, so we do have to be careful. Actually, let's open up this one first, so we're facing there, so if we see them, we can shoot fast. Alright, no one's there, so if we go up and we hold up to carry this one, and then we drop it here, and like that, then we should be able to see the doorway. So that way if they enter, we don't get spotted. Well, well, we'll get spotted, just they won't live long enough to understand why they got spotted. And now we open this one. Alright, that's the guy. Uh, Alright, good, he closed the door. And now we bag this guy, and we drop him over there, and now we can finally rob the bank in peace. Also, the reason I switched to the guard disguise is so when we're carrying the bags out, uh, we don't get spotted. Alright, now we bag the cash, and we move it to the van. This is another difficult part, because uh, it's conspicuous for us to carry a bag. So, we have to carry it through the whole lobby while being conspicuous or actually we're already conspicuous so we can run because we don't get detected any faster if we run because we're already doing something conspicuous wait a minute what if we go up through here and then we only go through the main lobby for part of it because that could save us some time all right we run here Bag more cash, and we go out again. Oh wait, nope, 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 nope. You see nothing. You see nothing. Don't, don't look. All right. Yeah, that was so much better. We didn't get detected at all there, except for that one guy at the bottom.
which does that even count at this point? Probably not. And then now we jump down. We go through here. We do that. And then we grab more cash. And we do this three more times. Uh oh, I forgot to do the advanced way. Alright, oh, good. We made it through that one. And we do it again. Three more times. I'll cut to when something interesting happens. And this time we actually remember to go up the stairs. Add another one. Alright, just one more. And the final bag. Close these doors. And boom, nobody will ever notice the missing cash or the bodies or the fact that the vaults opened. So we basically... Uh, nope. That was really close. They were like less than a second away from detecting us. Oh man, that was too close for comfort. And we're out of here. Alright, we made exactly $4,200. And for the final part of the video, skill time. Alright, what skills do we want? So, we have the SMG damage. We can get, ooh, this one's a really good one. And then we get that. The sky is affecting. I don't know if we really need that at all. I guess we'll take it. Uh, down there, there's like three more of the out of sight. And we can get that to increase the lock picking speed. Alright, well, that's this episode. This is Candy Power 998, and uh, goodbye. Alright, remember, if you enjoy this video, uh, like and subscribe, uh, click on one of these videos, and yeah, see you later. And now I stall for like another 10 seconds for the end screen, probably because I have no clue how long this recording is until after I'm done with it, so uh, goodbye.